congratulations on reaching the final. Thank How you. confident are you for back-to-back -back victories in this competition? Uh, I think it's always on the day. You know, you, you, you can turn up with a great team, great squad, great team spirit, but I think it's on the day. You know, on the day, you need a bit of luck, and uh, I hope you play well, obviously. But uh, I believe that if you play well, you know, we're capable, and we've proven that over the years. Uh, not taking it in lightly at all, you know, they're a young side. But I, w I wouldn't say confidence, but what I would say is that if you perform like you can perform, I know we won't be far away. Yeah. What are you expecting from today's opposition? Uh, I mean, they're young and I think they've won their league, I'm not sure. But uh, I think they're probably a bit more hungry than us because they've come up the league, they've won, I think they've won their league. I don't think they've played in the County Cup final before. Uh, it's, a, it's a big day, the club, the players. So yeah, I, I, I think they'll give a lot uh, of energy, they'll fight for every ball, which, which I expect I've side in a lower division. They're playing against Monica Starr, who's, who's been in this division for a long time and won everything. So probably the answer is on us, not them, because they've got nothing to lose in, in a way. So I, I suspect it's a very, very hard game of, of the opposition. How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Uh, well, you know, our last final, I don't know if you know the result of it, we got beat, which all good side. We didn't really turn up, uh, it's not like us. Um, so it's been difficult to get people back focus on the big one, which is today, the County Cup, and put the belief and confidence back, so I hope to see that today. You've had resounding success in this com competition, but how important is it for Monica Starr to have reached the Veterans Cup final? It's important in the sense we've always, we've always got here, and uh, we, I think we want it the most, as I say, I haven't got the facts in front of me. But uh, it's, it's a cup that we're, you know, we're used to winning. You know, it didn't give us the, the divine right to win, but yeah, I'm, I'm, um, again, it's, it's a county cup that we've won a, a good few times, and yeah, it is important for us to continue that. Firstly, congratulations on reaching the final. How confident are you of Sutton Coalfield Town winning it for the first time? Um, it's a tough question to ask because obviously we're playing against a, a very good side who are there every single year. So, uh, but we're ready. Had a good preparation this week. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. What are you expecting from today's opposition? Um, we all know they've got you know ex ex pros and, and what have you. So that's a big step up for our boys. So we know they're a good side. But uh, again, uh, we've done our homework and, and we're ready for them. How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Excellent. Uh, we've just come off the back of um, our League Cup final success, and we won the league uh, last Thursday. So obviously, you know, with the double, um, we, we won the treble. So yeah, all good. And how special is it for Sutton Coldfield Town to have reached the Veterans Cup final? Oh, amazing. I mean, we've we've never we've got a semi final 2011 and, and been nowhere close since. So uh, absolutely brilliant for the club because two years ago we were we, we were more or less finished, and myself and Nigel Richards took it over two years ago and. Uh, we're, we're in a good place at the moment.
talk us through the game from a Monica Star point of view. Uh, I thought it was even Stevens at the start. Um, you know, the young side um, got legs on them. We've played a lot of games. I'm not making an excuse. Playing catch up with you know the league, and we looked a bit tired. But I thought it was an even even game. Uh, I think that you know one of the turning points. We scored a great goal. It's got one nil up. And I think everybody knows one of the turning points. Not taking nothing away from them is losing uh, our centre forward, uh, Kitch. Uh, a bad injury and losing Darren Boyfield who had to uh, of engagement. So I think then it was like a bit backs to the wall. But I think they sensed a bit of blood. We they came at us and came at us and you know credit to them. They're a good side, a good young side. They'll do well in in the league next season. And uh, we just had to dig in really. And sometimes you need a bit of luck and penalties. It's a lottery, isn't it? What were your nerves like during that penalty shootout? Uh, I think. After being 2-1 up and five minutes left to go and conceding that goal, you just think, you know, that's it. Penalties, I just I just say to myself, it's one of them. If the look of the gods are with you, they're with you. Uh, obviously it was our day today. Uh, credit to them again to take us to penalties. And my lads scored five good penalties and, and that's that's for Neil Kitch, the lad who's gone off with his neck and, and hopefully he's okay. And lastly, how significant is this victory for Monica Star, considering you've dominated this competition over recent years and now you've won it back to back? I think it keeps the trend going for us. You know, it's, it's the counter cup that we always, when we start the season, we look at that cup and we say, that's our day, that's our cup. You don't know what's going to be thrown at you in the, in the, in the early rounds, but uh, when you get to the semis and win that and you're in the final and you think, here we go again, it could be our cup. But as I said at the start, when I spoke to you, you need a bit of luck on the day. Um, they ate the post, they ate the crossbar, they had half chances, we had half chances. But it took us to penalties and uh, you know, the luck was with us today. You know. Perfect. Yeah, Thank you. Right.